What is good out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over the brand new solo money glitch. This one is pretty good, I'm not going to lie. It's solo, it's quick, easy to do, and very, very simple. Uh, and you don't really need much to do it, alright? If you've been doing the past, you know, a few nightclub glitches, you should pretty much have everything that you need to do this. But one of the biggest things is that we do not need a Deluxo for this, okay? So no Deluxo needed whatsoever. I know a lot of you guys did not like those Deluxo glitches, even though sometimes that's all we have, you know? We gotta make do with what we got. But right now, this is still working. I've restarted my PS4 completely. This is working on Xbox One and PS4, okay? Founder is Obese Giraffe, so shout out to you. Link will be down in the description. And we're gonna go over what you need. So throw yourself in an invite only session, and I also recommend being in a free game session. Now, like I said, this is solo, but there is an issue sometimes where you end up on a black screen and you're gonna need targeting mode or a recent activity. But I didn't actually go through that, and if you're gonna see in this video, I didn't have to use that at all. So just in case, be in a free game session, especially you guys on Xbox, okay? But what you're going to need for this glitch is once you're in that invite only free aim session, you want to go ahead and have a nightclub. Also in that nightclub, you need one of the garage levels. So obviously something like B2. So I recommend having at least B2, B3, B4, one of those. Now in that garage, you want to go ahead and throw an LG Retro Custom in there. No custom plates needed. And guys, LG Retro Custom is the highest selling paid vehicle to actually dupe. Okay. When it comes to dupe vehicles, Benny's are the ones to dupe. The Nero does not sell for the most. The original sells for 1.6 million or 1.4, whatever it is, and that's it. All right, the rest of those sell for around 600K. So the way you want to go is the LG Retro Custom, but any Benny's vehicle is good to dupe. Like I said, no custom plates needed. We get a fresh plate every single time, and you want to go ahead and throw a bunch of RH8s in that garage as well. And we're going to need to save the vehicle in some way. So either the MOC with the personal vehicle storage or the CEO garage with the mod shop and empty spaces. All right. So we could go that route as well. You guys have saved the vehicles in there before. But uh, yeah, without further ado, we are going to go ahead and get started with this glitch. So as you can see right here, this is me. I was just screwing around with the Mark II Oppressor. Really like it. I'm going to mess with that a little bit later. But I'm going to go ahead and enter my nightclub right here. And like I said, you can have either B2, B3, or B4. I think in this video, yeah, I'm going to be using B3. All right, B3 is where I had just one retro just kind of chilling there. It was perfect. So as you can see right here, this will be my setup. So if you're planning on duping all the cars in your garages or all the cars in this garage, have one retro and the rest are RH8s. But I'm just going to do a couple in this video. So this is my setup, a retro in slot one, RH8 in slot two. All right, you can just have it set up like that nice and easy. So at this point, you want to go ahead and open up your phone and you need either a job from Simeon Martin or Gerald, okay? And the way you get those jobs is if you've played one of them before, then you can actually call them and request one, okay? So as you can see right here, if I call Gerald, I have a little lock symbol to request a job. That means I've never played a Gerald job, but they usually send these to you anyways. Uh, but I know Simeon, I can call Simeon and I know that he'll give me a job. I've played his jobs before. So once you call them and request a job, it's going to take a few seconds, but it will show up in your phone and you'll get a notification and then you're ready to do the glitch. Now, sometimes you get sent these automatically. Once I open up my phone right here, check it out. I have that one, but Gerald also sent me a job earlier. So check your phone before you make the call because they will send you jobs, you know, just randomly in sessions. So. Once you have the job, you want to go ahead and actually open up your phone and hover over the job that they just sent you and walk up to the garage, you know, door. All right. Walk up to the garage door and then you want to go ahead and accept and open up the job. The garage menu will come up and then you will be put on the job screen. So once we're on the job screen, this is what we're going to do. So we're going to back out and then start hitting up X, up X or up A, up A. OK, that is the rhythm. So I'm going to back out right here. Up X, up X, up X or up A. And you want to keep that rhythm. Now, I failed right here, okay? I was actually going really slow. This is when I first started doing the glitch and I didn't really know what I was doing. You want to actually spawn with no mini map, okay? Or on an infinite black loading screen. But I'm going to show you right now. So here is the successful attempt. Have your job ready. Walk up to the garage door. Just go ahead and open up the job and the garage menu will pop up. Go away. Now we're on the job screen. Get ready to back out, and this is the rhythm. Up X, up X, up X, up X. That's the rhythm. So here we go. Back out, up X, up X, up X, up X. Keep doing it. If done correctly, perfect perfect. You know, scenario is this. You spawn in the garage with no mini map in the bottom left. You know you hit it. 
but the other scenario where you still hit it is an infinite black loading screen. If that happens, PS4 recent activity and decline the alert, Xbox, friend in a different targeting mode, join them, accept the first alert and decline the second, and then you will be like this. If you have no minimap, you know you got it. If you still have a minimap, you gotta try again. So, go to your blue circle. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and pick up the retro and put it right there in slot 2 in the LG. And look at the spots in the top left. It actually says the retro is an RHA and the RHA is a retro. That's good. Okay, but you, you'll you see them normally. So, what you want to do once you switch them, grab your retro, the one that looks like a retro. Look at the plate, 42 BNJ. What you want to do is just simply drive out. And when you drive out, that RHA plate will merge. There we go, 83 ZTR. This is a brand new plate. It is as easy as that, guys, to actually do this dupe glitch. It's it's pretty freaking amazing, all right? So great find. But now at this point, you got your two options to save the car. So like always, we either have the MOC or the empty spaces in the CEO garage with a mod shop. You definitely need a mod shop. So if you don't have that, you can't be using the CEO garage. But this is the first place I'm going to go. I haven't showed it in a little while. I actually have a dead spot in my CEO garage. So I'm working on a video to clean up dead spots for those of you that have them. Uh, there is a glitch out, but for some reason, it's not really working for me. But I'm working on that. All right. So I'm going to drive into my CEO garage. It should be office garage number three. All right. Yeah. Number three. If you drive in normally like this, that's good. That means you got empty spots. That's what you need. Make sure you don't get a transfer alert. All right. The transfer alert will screw up the glitch. So... Right now, I'm just waiting. I'm spawning into the garage, and you want to be quick right here. So it's going to automatically kick you out when you park into the empty spot. So here we go. You see, it kicks me out. I'm going to spam triangle or Y, get back in the car, and then just start hitting right D-pad to go into the mod shop. You want to go in as quick as you can because sometimes it is known to brick you if you actually wait a while. The car will get bricked, and then your whole garage is bricked up. All right, but once we're in the mod shop, you want to go ahead and just modify the vehicle in any way. Cheapest thing to do is to modify the plate color. Um, I'll put on this one, that one, whatever. It doesn't really matter. You can go ahead and exit back to the ground or to the office garage spot. Either way, you are good to go. This dupe is fully saved. All right. So it's that easy to save it in the CEO garage. Now, say you did want to rinse and repeat. All right. If you wanted to rinse and repeat, I'd probably recommend grabbing your Mark II oppressor if you have one or your oppressor in general and fly back, you know, return this thing to storage because uh, you're good to go. But I'm just going to end up driving back here. I wanted to kind of make this uh, a simple, you know, to watch tutorial as if you were doing it as well. You could pretty much be doing it side by side with my video. All right. Dumb, mind my, or don't mind my driving, I should say. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be getting to the nightclub here in a few seconds. Once we're here, then I'm just going to simply return this vehicle to storage. And then I'm going to go in there and actually do the glitch one more time really quick for you guys and show you the second save method. So we're going to go into here. Um, I don't know why I'm taking so long. Here we go. All right. I'm going to go into my garage. It should be B3 once again. And the cars are going to be switched around. So you just got to rearrange them when you're going to set up to do the glitch once again. So as you can see right here, you should have an empty spot too because you did just merge uh, over an RH8. So that RH8 is gone. All right. It turned into a dupe and that should be over there now in the CEO garage. So that's if you save it in the CEO garage, nothing transfers. In the MOC, you'll probably have something transfer. But I'm going to reset it up, and I'm actually going to put a Fagio in slot 2, and I'm going to keep the Retro in slot 1. So I wanted to see if it would dupe over a Fagio. I was pretty sure it would, but I wanted to do it for the video anyways. So remember, hover over the invite in your phone. So run over to the garage, open up the phone, hover over one of these job invites from Martin, Simeon, or Gerald. Then just walk up to the door, go ahead and open up the job. Just wait here, wait for the job to load up, and we're going to get ready to back out. Up X, up X, up X, up A, up A, up A. And if you spawn in, your phone comes up like that, no mini map at the bottom left, you are good to go, all right? You are good to go. Make sure, remember if you're on that black screen, either targeting mode or recent activity. All right, go to that blue circle, swap slot one and two, and you'll see the names change, but the cars will stay the same, all right? Or whatever you're using, you know, in my case, the car and the bike. Uh, will stay the same, but the names will change on the vehicle selection menu. Hop into the car that looks like your retro and 42 BNJ. I'm going to simply drive out and you will get your brand new plate upon driving out. And I just merged it with a Fagio 06 LXH. All right. So there we go. That is a merge with the Fagio. So obviously you can use other vehicles uh, to merge over. It's not just RH8s, but they are free. All right. So at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and do the second save method requesting my MOC. Remember, you must have the personal vehicle storage. If you have anything other than the personal vehicle storage, you cannot save dupes. OK, cars like this are only meant to go in the PV storage. All right. Not in the weapon and vehicle workshop. 
So I'm going to go to this weird spawn point that it decided to bring me uh, this time, even though there's another spawn point really close by. But yeah, I'm going to drive through all of these dumpsters here and go to the back, and I'm going to get ready to hit right D-pad. And now a pedestrian is actually going to try to pull me out of the car. I'm going to back out of the alert right here, and look at this. He was actually, he was pulling me out while I was about to go into the MOC. Probably could have been a glitch there, but uh, yeah, I'll get rid of him. I'll press right D-pad, and I'll accept the alert, and then I'll go right into my MOC. And I got a transfer alert, so it doesn't matter if you have something in here or not. But I got the transfer alert, so whatever was in here is now going to end up in my, you know, in my nightclub garage. And the dupe will now be saved inside the MOC, and you're good to go. No need to modify it, you're good. And coincidentally, that's actually the other MOC spawn point. It's literally right across the street, like right down the street. I've never seen two spawn points uh, so close to each other. But... Yeah, guys, that's the glitch, all right? So as you can see right there, I showed you pretty much everything you need to know for this. Uh, I didn't encounter those black screens, okay? So I wish I did so I could have showed you, but if you do end up on an infinite black loading screen in the garage, remember, recent activity, decline the alert on PS4 or on Xbox. You need a friend in a different targeting mode. That's why I said be in a free aim session just in case, except the first alert, decline the second, okay? Because most people play in assisted aim, so you just chill in free aim. But yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Shout out to the founder. Shout out to all of you guys. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.